It's group therapy on the Y94 Morning Playhouse. Seeking some sage wisdom advice with the Playhouse family today is Playhouse family member Maggie. Maggie, what you got? I, I am, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm like a terrible and like the worst mother ever on the face of the earth, but my daughter, she's 12. She had a hamster. It died because they all die. We all die. But anyway, my daughter was super attached to Tiger, the hamster, and Tiger, you know, it, I don't, you know, kick the bucket, um, wants, wanted to have Tiger's ashes, you know, ha- have Tiger cremated and the ashes in her room. Sure. So I took it to the vet and it's $400 to have cremated, to have this freaking hamster cremated. And so I was like, I can't do that. Like, it's expensive. So I have my brother just build a fire and and burn paper and cardboard boxes, not the head, not the hamster. And I buried the hamster, and I just gave my daughter the ashes from the paper and the, like, the little bonfire that my brother did. Am I terrible for lying to my daughter? Well, at the very least, you're $400 richer. Yeah, I know. But whether or not that is uh, $400 other people would have sprung for, we'll see, okay? All right. All right. Uh, I think that's a pretty victimless crime. I... I don't see the problem here. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's bad either. She's still going to cherish those ashes no matter what. If that's what she thinks, let her think that. Just never, never tell her. And maybe not to belittle the love that she, I'm sure, had for Tiger the hamster. Maybe I'd have felt a little bit differently if it was like like a dog or a cat or something like that. One of those more, they're around for a little longer pets. What's the lifespan of a hamster? I don't know. I feel like ours always got loose and we lost in like an air vent or something. Lifespan <laughs> of a hamster. Even though for a dog or a cat, shelling out that kind of money I think is crazy. Well, so uh, two to three years seems to be what I'm seeing. If I Google it, I don't know if you see something different. That's a little different than like you add a dog or a cat to your family. Those become part of the family because they're around for, for a long while usually. I guess. I could almost see that. When our, like, childhood dog passed away, my brother ended up with the dog as we were adults. He got all of us, like, a scroll with the dog's paw print on it. I even thought that was ridiculous. It's rolled up in a closet somewhere. Well, you're not a very sentimental person either, though. Am I not a sentimental person, or do I just not like dogs? Okay. (laughs) Could also also be that. I think I'm sentimental. (laughs) I hold. I value pictures. I keep ticket stubs for a scrapbook I'm one day going to make. Would you pay $400 to cremate Steven? Or is he going uh, down the toilet like Tiger? Okay, a human is different. (laughs) Uh, That is so different. (laughs) Call up his family with some burned newspapers. Well, here you go. I think he wanted here. you to have these. I I got these for you guys. I know he wanted you to keep this. She is wondering if she's a terrible mom for lying to her daughter and saying, here are the ashes of your pet hamster. And really, it's just some like old newspapers and stuff they burned up because she wasn't about to actually pay to cremate it. That's a pretty steep price there. I feel like you could have got that done cheaper. You brought that here. I'd have burned it in an old coffee can for you. That's what I thought you were going to I was like, do you know of a place? Or are you offering your own services? You could just torch the thing. Ew. That's, I mean, that's pretty expensive. But still, I'm sure the they put special. it in a nice urn that's sealed up yeah. or something. I got barbecue I'm waiting for cleanup week to roll that's down to the bottom of my gross. driveway. So you could have done maybe something like that. 237, it's text 35270. What you think about her lying about these... This cremated hamster. Chime in now. It's group therapy on the Y94 Morning Playhouse. Quick recap if you're like, what is happening? <laughs> Which is very <laughs> likely. My daughter, she's 12. She had a hamster. It died because they all die. We all die. But anyway, my daughter was super attached to Tiger, the hamster. And Tiger, you know, it, I don't, you know, kicked the bucket. Um, once wanted to have tiger's ashes you know ha- have tiger cremated and the ashes in her room so i took it to the vet and it's four hundred dollars to have cremated to have this freaking hamster cremated and so i was like i can't do that like it's expensive so i have my brother 
just build a fire and and burn paper and cardboard boxes, not the head, not the hamster. And I buried the hamster, and I just gave my daughter the ashes from the paper and the, like, the little bonfire that my brother did. Am I terrible for lying to my daughter? Um, 237, it's text 35270. My main question is, you already had this raging fire going. Why not just throw a little bugger in there? Would it smell? I don't know. It was a hamster. Can you just burn things like that? It's a hamster. It's still. Mm, oh, my gosh. Know. Text club, what are they thinking about? Saving that 400 bucks, but lying about the ashes. I think by trying to protect kids' feelings, parents are missing valuable teaching moments and missing out on how to teach kids to navigate through mourning and disappointment in life. Another person saying, FYI, it's much cheaper to go directly to the cremation place than going through the vet. She's a good mom for letting her child think it is the ashes, though. And someone else saying, it was less than that to put my dog down and cremate. Not a bad mom. Toss some sand in there. She'll laugh about it when uh, she's older. And someone else said, I think it shows you care. Don't be so hard on yourself. And what are you thinking? Oh, my gosh. She should not lie to her daughter like that. She's going to find out someday, and it's going to cause trust issues. I, well, I hope to God she doesn't find out because that is, no, no, you, you, that's not a momming thing. You don't do that. Okay, so you're not a fan of it. A couple of people texted basically saying, like, was that just way too much? Or, like, what was the reason? Did you not want the ashes? It was a money thing, right? I know. I mean, it's life, is, life is expensive right now, and I don't have $400 to burn this poor little animal and i gave it a right i truly gave the tiger a right farewell but i really do feel like i'm the worst mother ever yeah that i mean that is a lot of money i, I for me the question isn't should you have spent that money because that, that's a lot for a hamster i think the question is should you have been up front and been like listen i checked into it to cremate tiger it's very expensive so let's bury him instead once the ground unthaws fully I guess, yeah, you could have buried. Could have I still think, dead. what's the, why, if she still did get rid of it and tried to give it like a proper burial, you say a few maybe words. if she ever finds out, she'd be like, okay, what you have, that's just newspaper, but Tiger's buried by the tree back there. Were you not going to take a moment to say anything nice about Tiger? I had a little musical homage. You've said nothing nice about Tiger. I honestly have been looking at pictures of hamsters <laughs> while you were playing that music. It was so sad. Look at this one of this hamster holding this flower it is so cute i believe if he would have had a funeral <laughs> that's the picture he would have wanted to use look at how cute that is oh hamsters are cute and there's one where he's eating a peanut makes me want one you would never or ashes of one one of the two that's crazy are we seeing some texts for maggie yeah someone said unfortunately when you get a pet cremated you don't get tiger back you get a mix back uh, and someone else is saying, you did more than my mom would have ever done. I think you're a great mom. And someone else said, I think it's good, and it's going to help your daughter process the death, and it shows that you care about her feelings. Good morning. Yeah, this is, I, I applaud the parent for going above and beyond. And like, no, nobody's going to spend whatever they had to spend to get a cremated hamster. That's absurd. Mm. Just go get some ashes. The kid's not going to know anything. It's not going to change anything. Oh, I think this is great parent. I am, I'm all on board. Who cares about a hamster? That's like a step up from a goldfish. <laughs> you know, I'm with you, but I don't know if we should just sit here but little poor tiger. I mean, as long as she did something, she has those ashes now. Mm. I think it's good. Hi. Uh... $400 for a hamster that costs like $10 to buy a new one. She could buy 40 new hamsters. <laughs> no. Yeah, I would have definitely, um, you know, got some regular <laughs> ashes and put them in there for her. You don't think she has to worry about ever getting busted on this? How would she find out? Is she going to test the ashes later in life? <laughs> little CIS hamster edition. I, I'll be honest. It looks like most people are kind of saying, "I did I, good job. Good mama. Yeah, people are supporting you. They think what you did was really nice for your daughter, and they agree that, yeah, that might have been a little pricey, but you still did something. Sounds like you're in the clear there, Maggie. Oh, my God. Thanks. You're the best. Yeah, wait, you're the best. I don't honestly. I don't think a lot of people would have thought to go through the ruse you did. Nice job getting some ashes, and yeah. she got exactly what she wanted. Some ashes to think about poor Tiger, who will always be the Tiger King to us. She even wrote like a little note. I think it was nice. She went above and beyond.